Just a little disclaimer before we start with the a lot of the lost reaction week so that no one gets confused. This is an axolotl. And here we have lotl. Now you know. So hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Michael. I am a German writer, editor and hobby DJ reacting anchor to new music videos or at least band songs and music videos that are new to me. And um, I've been away uh, for too long and uh, the last two weeks I restarted this channel a little bit and um, got in contact with a lot of the Lost fans that asked me to do more Lord of the Lost and I'm actually into it. Um, so we start our Lord of the Lost week, the Lottle week. Um, what do we know about Lord of the Lost? Um, I definitely know Blood and Glitter that went to the Eurovision Song Contest. Um, not that successful, but I really liked it though. I also like the show. I like the attitude of the band. Talking about attitude, I, I noted them down this time. There were four songs that uh, from Lord of the Lost that I listened to a lot during the last year. And one of them is Absolute Attitude. And the other ones are Reset the Preset, Leave Your Hate in the Comments, amazing song, and The Future of a Past Life, also amazing. So this is my knowledge of Lord of the Lost. Um, checked your comments, checked the band a little bit. Well, I didn't check any fact about it. Actually, I just did research thumbnails of other music videos of Lord of the Lost because I was thinking um, what other video do I react to? I wanted to react to seven more videos of Lord of the Lost. We did this once with uh, a band from Mexico called uh, The Warning. We did The Warning Week and now I wanted to do the same with Lord of the Lost and I was thinking now oh, which video could we react to. So it's a mix of what you asked me for um, a mix of the click and the view rate on YouTube. Uh, it's all of them are official music videos. And um, the first one is actually called the first one that we do right now is uh, La Bomba. Um, the reason why I chose this one is not um, what we are seeing right now. <laughs> what we are seeing right now, best uh, video still to start with. Um, the reason is, uh, I was just curious, do they sing in Spanish maybe? Is this a remake of a famous song called La Bomba? <laughs> or is this just something completely different? As usual, you know, reactors always say, I never expected that. So maybe there's something that I never expected. Um, yeah, so I, I would say, um, without further ado, let's start. Um, before we start, as always, feel free to like and subscribe. Give some love to the notification button. As always, you can follow me on Instagram, Reds. You can follow the Spotify playlist where I drop every song that we react to. And if you have any other song or band that you want me to react to, you can put it in the comment sections as well as feedback. Always highly appreciated. Or you contact me through Patreon. Okay, let's go. Uh, so we have a lot of work to do. And the first song is... Four minutes and 40 seconds long. Lord of the Lost, La Bomba. Let's go. All right. Oh, 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 
Okay, we will go back some seconds. Okay, I'm I'm already an expert in stopping uh, videos, as you can see. Now I know what they mean with La Bomba. Um, so what did I want to say? First of all, um, I'm not sure if this is a remake. It's definitely not a remake of the song that I thought it would be. Um, I already like Lord of the Lost for um, being not only diverse and creative but just doing what they want and i it looks like they had this attitude right from the start um this video is nine years old or at least the upload um and they all look super young in the video as well so um this is definitely an older one and they already have this attitude um the video is yeah <laughs> i i wouldn't say it's uh, high production video, but it's fun. What I actually appreciate is that they put the Spanish, the Spanish, the Latin groove and the Latin rhythm into the song. Um, not sure if this is reggaeton or something else. Salsa, no, salsa is not that. Salsa has lots of rhythm, but not this rhythm. Um, but yeah, to me, this is like a fast, like a sped up um, reggaeton, let's say, which reminds me a lot of. Um, um, Nor no uh, Norwegian Norwegian reggaeton by Nano War of Steel Italian metal band. Um, they also publish their videos on um on most of their videos on uh, Napalm, which Lord of the Lost also have most of their videos, if I'm not wrong. And um, um, Nano War of Steel, they do they are great musicians, not taking themselves too serious, and the music videos mostly are in a more comedic style. And if you you have to watch the video. Um, it's a mix of reggaeton and metal. Well, it says Norwegian uh, reggaeton, which is called like Scandinavian Nordish metal mixed with reggaeton. It's amazing. It's super fun. And recently, another band called. Um, Aesthetic Perfection. Um, they dropped uh, we, many weeks ago a music video called Summer Goth that goes into the same direction. Um, yeah, if you haven't seen these videos, check them out. They're super cool. That's the first thing that came to my mind when I saw this. Um, also, there were some elements that I actually really liked. I'm not sure if I will find it now, but maybe when they repeat it or when they repeat it in the second uh, part, I will pause here and there to tell you what I mean. Let's just continue for now. The the thumb, thumbnail, the still is kind of distracting me. Actually, there we have it. So first of all, uh, I like I really like the drums that underline the rhythm and the 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 vibe and the groove of the video a lot. Um, but there's something going on in the background. I don't know if it's Chris, the singer, him in the background with uh, the, this hmm, this who. I really like that because gives. Although we see a super fun video, it gives some yeah not not dark vibe, but something into that direction with which makes the song a perfect mix of lord of the lost and la bomba like latin and lord of the lost uh, elements crashing each other here I, I really like that also that part reminds me a bit I wanted to say Marilyn Manson, but I'm always saying Marilyn Manson too quick because whenever you hear someone talking like this or having these these um how do you call it in English um this kind of angry voice um 
<laughs> this is also a good still. Maybe I use this as a thumbnail. I'm getting completely distracted by this video. Um, yeah, I always say too quick Marilyn Manson because there are so many other artists. Um, or Jonathan Davis, for example, is also another reference that I use too often when I when I hear something like this. But I really liked it. It gives me a little bit of, I don't know, static, early static X vibes as well from the sound and the songs of Lord of the Lost that I've heard so far. They go all in, including the look that I did recently, the Roxette cover. They all went, yes, we had already shouting and growling. We had some metal parts, but they all went into this electronic industrial rock meets 80s synth pop. And this is something completely different. Actually, now I see between the legs, I think it's the word rumba. So I was maybe wrong with reggaeton and we have rumba here. A lot of the rumba. Um, ah, I'm, I'm so sorry. Maybe that was not the perfect video to start with. Uh, let's just continue and um, then I find my red line again. Drums are nice, the percussions. Then we have this uh, chorus that um, kind of shows off the singing skills of Chris uh, or the singing style of Chris. Uh, it's clear that he can sing. What I mean is his voice, I always think it fits perfectly into these uh, electronic synth pop, dark synth pop, neon wave cyberpunk corners, let's say. And it's interesting how much it fits. Uh, how much the transition fits from these, let's call it a percussion solo or whatever this was, um, this Latin percussion part into this super dark um, chorus. It's interesting. I haven't seen something like this before. I'm really entertained. Uh, it's like an anonymous meeting point of goths that actually just want to have fun, but uh, they they... <laughs> Have to keep their image on the outside so they meet in this one in this one room where they can all listen to rumba and so on obviously the, the whole video concept is a little bit like a like a casting not a casting show but a casting for the perfect goth rumba dancer or whatever um they they definitely had fun in this video it's clear to see i think i've never well in the look they are smiling a lot actually but before i've never seen them smiling that much um I like that because uh, you don't see, you know, m too many bands are too much into their in, into the role they play. It took probably two centuries before I saw Marilyn Manson smiling on stage, and that that I all I don't always want to point out Marilyn Manson, but we have so many other bands, gothic bands, um, syn, uh, what's the called <laughs> synth metal bands even new metal bands, metalcore bands, no matter actually which corner, there are so many serious ones that hardly refuse to just um, show the, the fun side of them because it doesn't fit the concept. I think, pers I personally think if you are not portraying like a real alter ego, 
then just portray yourself and just jump into any role that the music video or the song requires for you. I think in the end, it shows much more personality of yourself than just trying hard to be this one figure for the whole career. Of course, we had we have some some other examples, but for example, let's take Slipknot and Corey Taylor. Like, just watch what Corey Taylor is doing now. It would have never worked out for them. I'm I promise you, it would have never worked out if Slipknot would have been the same that they have been like 20 years ago. Um the vibe, of course, sometimes it's still the same. The masks are still horrifying, but you can see they are great musicians with the ability and the power of self-reflection. And it's cool. I, I'm, I'm talking too much. I just wanted to say I enjoy a band like Lord of the Lost. Imagine you, you just see like uh, photos of this video shoot. You see them with a, with a white makeup, the dark look. Um, Without the title, La Bomba is obviously uh, spoiling a bit too much, but you know what I mean. When like, You cannot see them now, but I see other thumbnails here from songs like uh, Die Tomorrow, um, Ruins, and it always, they always look super dark. And then you watch these videos, and there are some, I don't know, colorful costumes, uh, funny rumba parts in this one. So a lot of the Lost have much more in in their bags to carry with them than you might think i'm already uh, con i always i was already convinced of that when they um went to the eurovision song contest because first of all you need to be very self assured of your career because the eurovision song contest gives you a big chance but it can also be a big downfall and a lot of the lost um, were luckily already big. They didn't need the Eurovision Song Contest, but they still had the balls to go there and just to present themselves in and, and and like from their appearance, they fit perfectly into the Eurovision Song Contest. So I cannot pronounce Eurovision Song Contest today. Um, so I was already expecting them to be like this, but La Bomba is definitely an extreme that I haven't seen like this uh, for now. And it's also musically interesting. I saw, I saw in the comments, never quit too early. Um, so, and we still have a few seconds to go, but I wanted to point out that, um, like, isn't this perfect? You, you know, this is exactly the messaging and the, the thing that this band stands for me. You have like, a, obviously nine years ago, maybe they did not tour with Iron Maiden, but you have to keep in mind this band goes on tour with Iron Maiden, stands in front of thousands of heavy metal fans, and then they can enjoy themselves at the same time in burlesque parties. <laughs> in, they make songs like, they, they remake the look. Um, Blood and Glitter looks completely diverse. And uh, you have to have, unfortunately still, I would say you have to have balls to do this, even though it's probably the most normal thing you should do. Um, just be yourself. But yeah, coming from having lots of um, musical influence from the 80s and the 90s, I really enjoy that now nowadays bands exist that, def that exactly show this. That's what I wanted to point out. Okay, let's see if the credits have something. If the credits have something for us. So they. Listen to his voice. And at the same time, you have this Roma funk band in the background. This is awesome.
also this is smart when you think of all the dancers they might actually um be dancing to rumba you know and later when you add when you edit the video you put the metal uh, version on it but well the metal version on it but you know what i mean it's funny because i think in the music video they literally were listening to the rumba version um so yeah well that was fun that was a good start um with the lot of the lost week that was la bomba i wanted to say la rumba that was the rumba metal of lot of the lost la bomba um i think the next one will be i have a list here the next one will be mm -hmm, probably priest i will check out priest so see you in uh, the next video thank you very much for watching always remember that music is beautiful and so are you bye bye